one of the worst relationship advice I received before I got married. Hi fellas, welcome back to this YouTube channel. This is where we talk about Christian relationship and how to build a happy home. Today I'm going to be sharing with you one of the worst relationship advice I received before I got married. And I think it's going to help someone out there. Have you ever heard them say to you that find someone that loves you more than you love them? You must marry someone who loves you more than you love them. I think that advice is not a right advice. I don't think that it's correct because when you get into a relationship, you should be going with the mindset that I'm going to love my partner with all the love I can give. If each person who goes into a relationship that leads to marriage or who are courting and are planning to get married are in there with the mentality that I'm going to love this partner the best way ever. Like the Bible said, husbands love your wife like Christ loved the church. Jesus loved the church enough to give his life for the church. Is that how much you are willing to love your partner, your wife, your husband? And for the woman, you say, okay, that was for the man. He doesn't concern me. Of course he does. Because we are Christians and Jesus expects you to love your husband, to submit to him. What is submission? You cannot submit to someone you don't love. So that's the reason why both of you need to have this mindset that this marriage here is going to work. And it's going to work when we both give it 100%. Each person given 100%. Not 50%, not 80%, but a full 100%. With the mind that this marriage I'm getting into will work. It must work. I want to see it work. Marriage takes work. It's hard work, okay? <laughs> Every day, you live with someone, you never know them enough. You never, never say, I've mastered the art of marriage. It's a learning process. It's a learning journey. It's a daily learning experience. Learning to love more. Learning to grow in love. Learning to understand each other. So if you're single out there and you're wondering, I want to marry someone who loves me more than I love them. I want to marry someone who loves me like, oh my God. Just like, you know, in my fantasy, in my dreams. Are you willing to love them? more than they love you? Are you willing to give them your all? Are you willing to get into the marriage with the mindset that this marriage here will work? That's one advice I'm giving to you and I hope that you keep that in mind if you're not yet married. And if you're married already and your marriage is in shambles or your marriage is having cracks or you're in the early stages of marriage, it looks good until you pass that one year marriage, wedding anniversary, and okay, you now be begin to see it like, oh my God, it's not so sweet anymore. No, it's just that learning phase, that, that, that adjustment phase, and that's the time to love more. That's the time to give your all. That's the time to, to commit to making your marriage work. To commit to love your partner with all of you, with all of your heart, in your actions, in your reactions, in when you are annoyed, when you're upset, you think that this is my, my flesh, the bone of my bone, my partner for life, my best friend, my everything. And then you commit to making that marriage work. I hope that you are blessed. And if you have stayed up to this point, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, like and share your thoughts. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and bye.